Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Director of Bands Casey McCall, Associate Director Tim Meyer, Percussion Instructor Elizabeth Procopio, and Major Advisor Denise Thompson, we proudly present the Shelby Whippet Marching Band. Drum Major Madison Chirac, is your band ready? Tonight, the Shelby Whippet Band brings, back, brings us back to the 1970s, an exciting time coined as a pivot of change in world history. Hard rock and heavy metal became exceptionally popular among British bands during this time period. Queen is one of the most famous bands to emerge in the 1970s and continues to be loved by many generations to this day. The marching band opens their show with one of Queen's most popular singles, written by guitarist Brian May. This track was featured on their 1978 album Jazz. It reached number 11 in the UK singles chart and number 24 on the US Billboard Hot 100. This is the Shelby Whippet Marching Band presenting their tribute to Queen. Queen's other music. Written in tribute to Elvis Presley, one of the most famous musical artists in the 1960s, this tune was composed by Freddie Mercury. He played guitar for one of the first time live in concert with Queen during its debut performance. Featuring Majorettes Carly Barnett, Megan Grass, Claire Kirchner, and senior Avin Nastasi. This is Crazy Little Thing Called Love.
Band closes their halftime show this evening with a song that remains to be one of the most popular songs to this very day. It became the UK's third best-selling single of all time. It was also the song to reach the UK Christmas number one list twice by the same artist. It even topped the charts in countries including Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, and the Netherlands. This title became one of the best-selling signals of singles of all time, selling over six million copies worldwide. Featuring senior trumpet soloist Logan Cronenwit, this is Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Marching Band.